Hey, what's happening everyone on YouTube? I hope you're having a fantastic day. Uh, we're going to start off with a couple of um, shout outs. So uh, shout out to new subscriber uh, Jenny Gust. Uh, shout out to new subscriber Luis Des uh, Chenes. I, I do apologize if I pronounced it wrong. I I'm not great with names. Anyway, today's going to be a fish room tour. And uh, a couple people actually requested it. So uh, this video is going to be cut because there's a few tanks throughout the house. And then I have an actual room loaded with tanks. Uh, shout out to SJ Lofty Eaton for requesting a fish room tour. And uh, shout out to Cutbait. And uh, I am going to have a giveaway. If you watch to the end of the video, I'll describe what that is and what you can do to get it. It will be free. I'm going to send it to you. So... Uh, we're just going to run a bunch of clips here of me walking around the house showing all of the uh, fish rooms until we get to the end. Um, all right, so one second. All right, so this is the first tank. Uh, th this is my son's scape. Um, each one of my kids, um, they both have a five gallon uh, with a beta in there. And you can kind of see him. He's chilling. And, uh, yeah, there's Valisonaria and a five-gallon tank, you know, so some people who are scared of, because they think of how big it, it gets, you can control it. Uh, some floating hornwort, and then, you know, there's a couple um, stem plants and rocks. We chat some moss, too, that is also attached to a Nana Anubius. But, uh, oh, here he is. He's coming out. Hey, you saying hey? What's up, bro? You digging that little jungle over there we got for you? Huh? And yes, dirt and black blasting sand in every tank. All right, tank number one. Let's move on. Welcome back. This is tank number two. This is the living room, our show-off aquascape. Uh, inside are uh, just a couple random male um, endlers. And also, we keep... Um, let's see if I can zoom in. <clears throat> Come on, you rascal. Well, there's also some pumpkin neocaridinas in here. Maybe we'll find one back here. Oh, well, there's a sun kiss. There's a sun kiss and, a, and pumpkins. Let's see if we can see them from up top. There he is, chilling. There's a few. They got a lot, even though this is... Oh, here we go. Yep, an orange really. There's a pumpkin behind it. All right. Bunch of floating water lettuce. One more front view. If anyone has any questions as to the plants or all of that stuff, just, you know, when we get to the end of this, ask in the comments. Full shot. There we go. All right, let's move on. All right, this is my other son's beta tank. Here he is. He doesn't mind showing off all kinds of different uh, crypts and, yep, more Vallison area going on in here. Let's see if he'll flare up for us. Do it. Come on, threaten us. Threaten us with that eyeball look. What you got? Nothing? All right. Well, that's the, his tank. We'll move on. All right. All right. Now we're uh, in my room where I do all my tanks. This is my blue Neo Caradina tank. So you can see all the blue dream, their blue dreams. Uh, there's also some black rillies. I uh, have been breeding the two to make carbon rillies, which are black and blue. Um, where's the? Here, here's one chilling. There's like about 25 plus in here, but you know they're hard to spot. Here's one. Yeah, they love the moss. Sometimes I see them dangling upside down from all of that floating water lettuce as well. And they'll go up this piece of bark. Oh, here's one. Right there. Aha! A couple of you dudes. Thought you could hide. Alright. Now let's move on to one of my favorite larger tanks. This is called my jungle scape. I mean... It is fully grown in. I mean, this is jungle. This is jungle all the way. There's some Sarpe Tetras. 
Look at the plant load and look at how many fish. I have a total of 10 fish. There's two uh, Dalmatian mollies, uh, platy, and then I have a school of Sarpe tetras. And just look at all this lush wildlife they have to swim through. And yeah, there's all kinds of allocinaria in here. I have like four different kinds in here. Um, amongst other plants. So, some uh, ARs, dwarf chainsword, Sagittaria, all kinds of goodies. And of course, a couple snails. Nom, nom, nom. Oh, there's a fish hiding back there. It's just, uh, it's just awesome, you know. Look, load your tank up with plants. And then keep the fish to a minimum. And you'll never have any problems. Everything will be great. All right. Now we're going to move on over here. And this tank is my everything from PetSmart and Petco. Um, ex with the exception of uh, some Valisinaria. But, I mean, crypts of all different kind. Um you know all the little bushes in there some bacopa three different types of crypts there's too many um, Amazon swords uh, a puntagen olvaceous hornwort cardinals um, and oh there's bamboo shrimp gathering up some goodies and yeah there's some some juveniles and some newborns in here that's one of the mamas um, I have a female there yeah, that's a female inler and a female guppy and I've been letting them breed so that, that's uh, some floating guppy grass all, all kinds of stuff you know going on in here alright down here there ain't nothing in it but plants right now because I do let my tanks run for months before I ever put any inhabitants in there oh you see that crinkly bell yeah, some tortaval. That's what I'm talking about. This also has nothing. It's just that Nana tank. If you guys watch me do my how to do a dirty tank, uh, I just, you know, put some plants in there and I'll figure something out with it later. And then back here, this is my yellow Neocaradina tank. I only put golden back. Oh, there's some right there. You can see a few. There's a dozen or so in here. Oh, there's one chilling. And uh, this is not Valisinaria, by the way. This is Sagittaria. So I kept it on the smaller side since this is um, a 7.5 gallon tank. Uh, there's uh, some bronze crypt going on there. Uh, and some. T there. There's going. Sometimes they're kind of cruising up the moss, but I guess not today. Everyone's digging around for goodies. But that's that one, and then this one. Yep, no fish yet. Still under the works. Got all kinds of cool aquatic grass going on in here. Christmas uh, moss growing on that um, dragon stone. A few different types of Valisinaria, some Nana Valisinaria, and there we go. And I'm going to cut one more time. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll talk about how uh, what you can win and what. All right, I hope you enjoyed my little tour there. I'll try to wrap this up and make it quick. I am going to give one. Uh, you do have to be a subscriber. Uh, one subscriber. I'm going to mail to you a bundle of three different types of Valisinaria for free. Um, so this is how you can you can win it. All you have to do is just uh, make a comment. You can say whatever you want, but you also want I also want you to say I want some free Val, okay? And then you say whatever you want, and I will let this go for an entire week. So next Wednesday, and I'll even message the person underneath the in the thread say that you won and then give you a way that you can talk to me personally so I can get your address and I'll pay for the overnight shipping and get it to you quickly and you can start going to town. Valisinaria is great. It's great for your play, uh, for your tanks. They do provide a lot of oxygen and you know, fish 
do love it. Um, so uh, I'm just going to give it to you. Um, and thank you so much for watching. That's it. Again, all you got to do is be a subscriber and say, I'd like some free Val. I'll let it go for a whole week. And then I'll message who I'm going to mail it to. And we'll go from there. Um, there will be a video this Friday, but it'll be unrelated. You know, so I'll announce the winner on an actual video uh, on Wednesday when I announce the winner. And then we'll talk about some other stuff. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you had a fantastic day. And if you're having a crummy day, maybe some free valid scenario will make it feel better. Huh? Ho? Ho? Maybe? Ho? All right. Thanks again. Have a great day.